you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be taking you guys with me this weekend in Medellin. My family came to visit me and I couldn't be more excited to see them. They live in Puerto Rico so I haven't seen them for like three to four months and it's just been way too long and I couldn't be more excited to take them to the best spots here in Medellin. As you guys know I am a foodie so tonight I decided to make reservations at a really really yummy restaurant that I have been wanting to go for a long time. It's called El Colosal and it's overlooking the entire city the food is supposed to be amazing so I am super excited about tonight and then tomorrow I think we're just gonna be sightseeing I really want to take them on a tour around the city and maybe como una trece I'm just super happy that they're here with me I just feel like it's been way too long so this is what I'm wearing tonight sorry for the mess you guys but I have been filming videos all day <laughs> all day so that's why it's a little bit messy in here but I wanted to share with you guys my outfit for tonight I am wearing my bombshell boutique halter top i showed you guys this top in the previous video it's called bougie on a budget if you guys want to see that video you can link it down below and then these pants i got them from sada these are glitter pants and i actually bought the matching jacket and they both look so great that's what i'm going to be wearing tonight these earrings are from amazon my accessories are from amazon as well my purse is from amazon so i really hope that you guys enjoy this vlog and i will see you guys at el colosal Hi guys, we are here in Colosal, the view of this restaurant, like you guys, this is amazing, it's one of the most beautiful restaurants I've ever been to here in Medellin, it's overlooking the entire city, look how gorgeous this is. guys so it is Saturday morning I already worked out and we ended up going to Colosal which you guys saw last night to be honest like the restaurant the food was okay I would give it like a six out of ten I felt like the cocktails were great the service was uh, not that great I feel like you're almost paying for the view when you go to that restaurant and I mean it's a gorgeous restaurant but I feel like the food was super overpriced and that's just one thing that was kind of shocking because here in Medellin the food is pretty cheap compared to the US so I guess that that was like more of a bougie restaurant and it's definitely a gorgeous restaurant if you're here with your partner and you want to go to a really bougie restaurant and you want to get a fantastic view well then i definitely recommend colosal just try it and see if you like it because the view is spectacular i feel like we went there we tried it and i feel like there are so many restaurants here in medellin that i'm just excited to try new ones because every day i discover a new restaurant that's the cool part about being here in medellin is that the gastronomy is just so amazing here so we are going to azul selva today i'm going to meet my my dad and my sister there. Azul Selva is one of my favorite brunch places here in El Poblado. It's located in Primavera Street and Primavera Street is really well known for boutique shopping, for restaurants. So I am so excited to take you guys with me and I will see you guys at Azul Selva. They look so good. Wow, this is so good. Okay, 
Hey guys, so we just finished brunch and it was so good, wasn't it? Was so it? good. So yummy. Yeah, we're definitely gonna come back. Unfortunately, they're leaving Sunday, which is tomorrow. We're gonna go to El Bosque de Rosado, which is one of my favorite restaurants here, and I am so excited to take them. And then I think that we're just gonna walk around Primavera Street. shopping here we are in this super cute boutique here in Primavera Street let's see what they have have you found anything everything's super cute I know <laughs> yeah what's amazing about these stores is that all the prices as well are really really amazing if you have a chance to come to Medellin come and explore Primavera Street because they have super cute boutiques and the prices are really good as well since the rooftop on the Charlie Hotel opens at 4 we're gonna check out the Marquee Hotel because I've never been to the rooftop and hopefully it's gonna be open so we're just walking around enjoying our day <laughs> Here you guys, Jesse. we are going to check the rooftop out. Oh my God. We are here, a rooftop, wow, this has got to be one of the best views I've ever seen here in Medellin. It is so beautiful. I'm in love. I, one thing that I really love about Medellin is the spectacular views. Every time that you go to a hotel and there's a rooftop, they have amazing, amazing views. We are here, you guys, at the Click Clack Hotel. Tell you guys, we're gonna go to the rooftop now and get drunk. <laughs> yeah, are you excited? Yes. Colombia get prepared to walk because everything is walking distance if you're staying here in El Poblado there are so many restaurants and so many things to do all the streets are super steep so be prepared to walk hi guys so we actually ended up changing restaurants we were gonna go to a place that's called Amsterdam Plaza and in that plaza they have a lot of restaurants and they're all really yummy restaurants we're going to one that's called Putanesca I've actually been there before and the food is amazing it's like a fusion sort of restaurant the drinks are really good as well so I am excited to take my family there I forgot to share with you guys what I'm wearing I am wearing this oversized blazer by Sarah and I am wearing my turtleneck crop top which I bought here in Colombia my ripped denim jeans from, from White Fox Boutique my Dior bag and I'm wearing these platform sandals from Simi Shoe I think that these are super cute and they're actually really comfortable as well look at who I found here the mommy look at the mommy oh she wants to go with her grandfather there she goes there she goes. Wait, 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 wait. Uh -oh. She's gonna knock over the She's gonna knock over the glass of wine. She's gonna knock it over. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at you. Look at you. Oh. 
So I ended up ordering my usual, my gin and tonic. They serve really, really good cocktails here. The bartenders are amazing. Let me show you a place where you go on a move your feet until they start to be. DJ, take it away. Tonight is all for you and me. So, baby, What do you guys think about the food? So good. Right? Super bueno. You love it, babe? Everything here has been amazing. So you went to his house, so did good. you kind of plan it? Hi you guys, so today is Sunday. I woke up about an hour ago. I've gotten ready to go to Comuna 13. I'm gonna go with my dad and my sister. I've been wanting to go there ever since I got here to Medellin and it's just something that we've been putting off. And since they're here, I just couldn't be more excited to take them. Comuna 13 used to be one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Medellin back in the 80s and 90s because it was run by large trafficking organizations. So during the following decade, the government decided to improve the hillsides commune and install escaleras electricas which means electric stairs and these stairs gave the residents a newfound freedom and brought a total shift in the local mentality. So after that, local artists felt safe enough to brighten up their neighborhood. The result was the creation of one of the most colorful communes in Medellin. To me, yes, I Sebastián. Sebastián. Dile hola a YouTube. Hey, para que vengan a las 13 y visiten, no hagan el tour con el monito. Inside of Comuna 13, and look at the art in this place. It's so cool and it's so different. This is what I like about Comuna 13. It kind of like takes you out of the comfort zone, takes you out of El Poblado, and then brings you to the side of Medellin that I hadn't seen before. And it's just so different. And I just love the art and seeing the culture here in Medellin. DJ, take it away. Isn't this cool, Julia? I love it. Yeah. Oh, wow. I was a little bit nervous to come here, but now that I'm here, it's almost like it's such a tourist attraction, especially on Sundays, it gets super packed. Like this place right now is so packed, but it's so beautiful. There's so much culture here, so much art. There's little cute bars here as well, filled with graffiti, and it's just a really different and amazing experience. I think you owe it to this beautiful night, to lose all your control, do it for you. Let me show you a place.
Se merece un aplauso. Se lo merece. Perfecto. Bienvenidos al parche de las banderas Somores Music. ¡Vaya! ¡Mira, ahí! ¡Mira, ¡Eso me tiene emoción! ¡Ahora llegó al agua y la. Hi guys, so we had an amazing day today. We went to Comuna 13 and it was just so different and it definitely gets you out of your comfort zone. It was super crowded. I was not expecting that, but all the graffitis, all the art murals and just seeing all the people that live there are just so humble, so nice. And we just had an amazing experience. Our tour guide was really great as well. So I got back home about an hour and a half ago. I took a little bit of a rest because I was exhausted from walking all day in the sun. And now I just got ready and we are going to El Bosque de Rosado, which is one of my favorite restaurants here in Medellin. I just ordered my drink, El Bosque de Rosado, which is my favorite drink to have Ours, here. Like, that, that's like My dad ordered an model. old fashioned, my sister ordered a. Yeah, what did you get? What did you get? Some I got some wine. I'm yeah, a wine girl. Cool, what did you get, baby? I got this uh, special old fashioned they have that is very unique. And I'm a very picky old fashioned drinker. Good morning, you guys. So we just woke up about an hour ago. And now we're gonna go to Matilde, which is a really yummy brunch place here in El Poblado. We had an amazing time last night at El Bosque de Rosado. My dad and my sister are leaving in about an hour and a half. So we're just gonna grab coffee and brunch. And I'm just so excited to see them before they leave. And I'm gonna take you guys with me as well. We are waiting for our Uber driver. She is arriving in about one to two minutes. So we just ordered two cappuccinos and one thing that I really recommend you guys is getting these little stevia drops or you can also get some monk food drops. And the good thing about these drops is that they don't spike your insulin so instead of getting sugar at the restaurant like a Splenda or brown sugar you can get these little stevia drops and you can just carry them in your purse. Right? This is something that we've had for so long. Long time. And I, I prefer always... monk fruit drops but stevia drops are right. good too. Yeah, and it's just good to have in your purse and you can just take them anywhere with you. You're not going to be having that processed sugar. So this is something that I always add in my coffee. Oh. My avocado toast. You guys, so this is going to be the end of this vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed it and comment down below if you want to see other videos like this. And if you have any other video suggestions regarding Medellin and other places that you would like to see in El Poblado, I think that we're going to go to Guatapé soon and that's something that I'm really looking forward to and I know that you guys are going to love that video. There's a lot of beautiful resorts and hotels there and everybody that I know from Medellin just tells me that I have to go to Guatapé so that's something that I'm really looking forward to. I love you guys and I will see you guys soon.